Hello YouTube, sorry about that. That last video ended with some pretty spectacular technical difficulties. The result of me laying the keyboard on my lap and allowing the right-hand side of it to slowly wind its way underneath the table, whereupon any kind of jostling or joggling of my knees or feet presses the stupidly placed power down button on my keyboard. I said it before and I'll say it again. Who the fuck thought of that? Well done, prick. Okay, here we go. Let's get back into the thing, swing of things. I don't know what's happened. It seems I've designated this, but I haven't designated the cooking area. So let's do that. Architect. Uh, st uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what was it? It wasn't orders, was it? No, structure. Uh, furniture. Floor, ship. Production. That was it, production. So we want a steel butcher's table, which goes here. And we also wanted a fueled stove, which... Oh, sorry, I can't be asked to rotate it. Just stick it there. It's good enough. Butchery to cooking in the same room. Unhygienic, but efficient. Okay. I should rip that key out. I should smash it to bits. I should find Satan himself and put it up his bottom. Just not for Satan's benefit or, or non-benefit, you understand. It was, you know, purely for the horrific experience of the key itself. Not that I'm planting. Am I wearing clothes? I don't think he is. He is. He's wearing synth thread pants. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he? Learn medical operations. To assign a medical operation like organ harvesting or prosthetics installation, open a colonist's health tab, then switch to the operations sub tab. Oh, okay. Mr. Mix, you're the vet. Uh, let's go to the health tab. Go to operations. Okay. Add bill. Install peg leg. It's a bit extreme when she's only got a stab toe on the. Uh, hang on, this isn't. Mr. Mix, is it? Old gunshot wound? Oh, I see. It's left leg and foot. Okay. So I, don't, I think a peg leg, a denture, uh, harvesting her heart. They're all a little bit extreme, aren't they? Let's just leave those for now. Uh, Kiezu are just named PCs. So uh, when uh, when another PC comes along, Kiezu, of course, you will be uh, included in the fun. Or indeed, maybe a pet. Who knows? Because we can tame animals in this version, apparently. All very exciting, isn't it? This room's nearly complete. Look, they're just cutting down the tree, putting in the wooden floors. I've dealt with all the trees I demanded were cut down earlier, but, well, what do we expect? By the way, how are the sound levels? Because the audio in my ears is fairly loud. I'm getting a fairly loud uh, musical experience. I don't know if that's translating through to the stream or if my levels are beautifully perfect, as they should be. Dare I fast forward this? Is everybody engaged in meaningful tasks? Mr. Mex currently cutting down oak trees. Single, where have you gone? Oh, they're both next to each other. Okay, they're both chopping down trees or similar activities. That's good. Let's speed things up a bit and see how it goes. Ooh, built the door on here. On goes the roof. Yeah. seems that they're doing the chopping and then going straight for the construction, which is good. And single, look at them go. Zooming around. There goes the door. Although why he chose to walk through it, I don't know. Is is the pathing over the growing area an issue? Is that going to compact dirt and stuff and cause problems or, or what? Should I worry? A wild boar? What's this stuff underneath it? Just green grass? Seems like it. <clears throat> no time to start taming boars yet. Name you the most useless pet. Okay. Ah, cutting gives a paintbrush that only selects matures tree to get down. Ah, okay. So young trees don't get any wood. That's interesting. Okay. Can I cancel? Can I mass cancel these cutting orders? Is this 59% grown? 85% grown? 95% grown? I think we'll just... We'll let them cut down what I've designated, because I was clearing space down here. Maybe some of the ones up here don't need cutting. Is that mature? It's only 48% grown. Doesn't seem like that would be mature, does it? These are all out of the way. Let's get rid of these. We're only cut on the area we want to clear so we can build on it. To make colonists work at a table, select the table and open the bills tab. Here you can say what meals to cook, what things to craft and what creatures to butcher. 
It's nice to know. There's no fuel in it yet. That's cool. We're getting good. We've still got some food rations. Yeah, we've still got some survival meals. So no need to start panicking about food just yet. And we've got potatoes on the way. 18% grown potatoes, no less. Although some are more grown. And some less, of course. Okay. Maybe I can speed things up even more, actually. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Everything's getting cobbled together nice and quick. Right, do I need anything else in this putative kitchen area? Let's have a quick look. We'll look at production. What do we got? Crafting spots, research bin, hopper, uh, steel butcher's tables, steel electric tailoring bench, steel hand tailoring bench, steel sculptor's table, electric stove fuse. Table. Okay, well, none of these things look like I need them right now. Uh, orders are all good. Structure. Rules. I'm not so sure I do. Everyone's going to sleep. We should probably speed this up for the night. <clears throat> Single. Burning the midnight oil there. Really quite dedicated to the construction industry. I've not seen any other people on here yet, which is good. This looks interesting. What's this? got some rations over here that could still be collected. That's nice to know. But will they decay over time if left out? I would like to know that. I think it does, doesn't it? I need to get it in under a roof. Not the steel slag chunk, though. That's not particularly important. Uh, furniture seems like nice to have rather than necessary right now. Is anyone cold or not hot enough? A sun lamp. What does that do? Lights an area brightly enough to grow crops. Oh, cool. Uh, nope, the home area is fine. We'll leave that as it is. Growing zone, dumping stockpile. Okay, we'll go and get this food stockpile that I saw earlier, just to mark it up for collection. No, that's not my home area! Sod off! That didn't sound like a good noise. That sounded like a bad noise. What animal made that? Oh, muffalos. Okay. Interesting. Fine. <laughs> that was a boar I was looking at. You can configure how colonists should automatically respond to threats like predatory animals. Choose flee, attack, and ignore modes in the assigned menu. Need defences. You've been here some time and have probably been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. You should prepare defences. Build some turrets. Okay. Security. Uh, steel improvised turret. Good. Looks good to me. Um, where's the base gone? It's over here. Good. Well, I think we need to control... If we put one here, that controls this area around here, right? I think that's good. Control the entrance. And if we put one over here, that controls that entranceway. Can't get in without walking into its range of fire. And over here, that's a natural border. So these two, how many of these can we build? Have we got more? Does the facing matter? Not by the look of it, no. Are two turrets going to be enough when it comes to d deterring raiders? That's the question. I suppose I could pop another one in. Couldn't do any harm, could it? I've got steel. Let's put some closer to the building, just in case people get close. One there, one there. Okay, so we've got some building in the way. Turrets need power. You set up power first. Okay. Um, power, obviously. Power conduit, power switch, solar generator, fuel generator. Well, a solar generator seems good. Steel and three components. Do we have that material? I think we do. Fueled generator. Produces power by consuming wood fuel. Must be fueled by hand. Battery, wind turbine. Okay. Uh, 
Let's go for a solar generator first. That can go out here. I think. Yeah, good. Is that going to be enough? And then a power conduit. How does that work? Is that. Hopefully it will stay. Uh, that will get built before any troubles. <clears throat> Should I speed things up a little? I don't know. Are there more orders to be placed? Oh, okay, so we need to build a battery as well. Architect, power, battery. Does a battery want to be indoors or does that matter? Put the battery there for now. What I have to do. Indoors, okay, cancel. <laughs> Put the battery indoors uh, here on the wall. Explodes when wet. Good to know. Is that how it works? We'll see. Hopefully that's how it works. Okay, so get some speed on. Everybody continue your work. What's everyone doing? Mr. Max, single. Cutting down trees, I imagine. No, you're collecting stuff. <clears throat> oh, he's building the turrets. Okay. Uh, they're not priority right now. But okay, I'm feeling lazy. I'm just going to have it. Visitors. A group from Fisherman's Valley are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. So we jump to the location. Hello, Kent, Stein, and Kit. Cool. Okay, we need to build conduits to the turrets as well. Okay, I can do that. Here we are. Power conduit. Uh, from the battery, I presume. Can't remember where I put all my turrets, but okay. It's that one there. Where's the other one? There's one up here somewhere, isn't there? There. Oops. Architect power conduit. Hopefully that won't disrupt the garden too much. There's another turret around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Sure, we'll find it. Where is it? Oh, okay. They're considered ugly, are they? Okay, we'll get them those. We'll run them through the wall, as suggested. So. Okay, that was perhaps a little bit. Still need to find more of the turrets though. There's another one around here somewhere that hasn't been built yet, so okay. Oh, here comes Kit Stein and Kent on their way in. You can see our turrets are not operational. These turrets are not fully operational. Did I put another turret down here somewhere? Oh man, I, pl I placed turrets and I lost them. How stupid is that? Oh dear. Well, there's one. Okay, what we'll do. Architect. Uh, power conduit. There we go. There's that. So, what are you guys up to? Having fun? They've got shoddy steel knives and a poor wooden mace. We could just kill them and take their ship, but it doesn't seem right. They seem friendly. Three batteries and two solar panels. Okay, architect. Power. Can I just stick these solar ones here? But they have to be connected with conduits as well. Let me get the battery. That will work. What server am I using for Twitch? Uh, well, they've cool. Uh, I think I'm using London, the London server. Guide the yellow can trade. Okay, let's pause it. 
Ah, uh, I see. So, uh, Singor can trade with Kent. Let's not send Singor. Singor is the one with the massive gunshot wound to the face. Uh, let's send Mr. Mix. There we go. Off you go. Trade a Roo. See what we can do. Okay, so they have, or is this what we have? Now Kent has 220 silver, we have 812. Okay, we also have some medicine we can trade, some components, no chocolate, and some packaged survival meat. Well, we literally just. We're just selling stuff then. For cash. Do we need cash? What are we spending cash on? We're in a survival situation here, right? We can buy chocolate. Okay. And we can also buy components and medicine. Oh, I see, I see. They have got stuff. There's quite a disparity between the trade prices. Silver is the currency. Ah, I see. Oh, I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how much to buy all of your stuff? 88 silver? Seems doable. Yeah, I'll buy all your stuff. Why not? Done. Now piss off. Chocolate. Oh, great. Yeah, we're not going to leave that line around then. Bloody hell. Come on, people. Power conduit. Is that necessary? That's not, is it? It's in the wrong place. Get rid of that. Okay, none of the batteries or solar panels have been made yet. That's okay. It's okay. The conduit's going in. So at least there'll be some power. We've got one. I'm sure I put down another turret down here somewhere, but I can't for the life of me see it. So, uh, yeah. Hooray for me. Over here? No, I don't think I did. Maybe I didn't put it down. Maybe it was just my imagination. There's only one turret over there, and maybe two over here, are there? Got another one over here? Am I going mad? Did I only put two turrets down? Oh no, we have got two over here. That one. That one. I don't want to click on the conduit. I want to highlight the turrets. Oh, it's right in the middle of the dumping stockpile zone. Oh well. I am a noob after all. I cannot be expected to make amazing blistering progress first time round. Uh, yes, love cool. I am very new to the game. Build your heel root field and a cotton field. Okay. That sounds like an interesting thing to do. Let's do that. Architect. Order zone. Growing zone. Okay, so another growing zone is being implemented. Here it goes. Next to the first, right outside the kitchen. Okay, seems reasonable to me. And then we'll have another one here for what I believe was cotton, right? That was what you said. So growing, plant, cotton plant. This one. What? Oh, it's the potato plant and uh, heel root. Okay, good. So we've got those set up. Build sandbags around the turrets to protect them. Okay, I can do that. Security, sandbags. Hopefully we have enough sand. So do that, 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 and that. And it will also make them easier to spot as well for me when I'm going, where the hell do I put them? Oh, it's a bush. A mature bush. It doesn't laugh at fart jokes. This is a raspberry bush. Ooh. Let's uh, harvest then. I'll have some raspberries, thank you very much. Hey, you guys, it's getting dark out. We should all be heading to bed. Don't get eaten by wolves or anything. But do piss off. Get out of here, you shifty f fools. There, they're going. They're off. Let's designate the orders to build some more sandbags around this one as well. Uh, 
groovy cool. Okay, all designated nicely. And the day is coming back round again. Singles up out of bed as usual, first to rise. What? No, don't build sandbags there, you link and poop. Cancel. What was that? A steel slag chunk. Sandstone chunks. Let's get all the steel slag, uh, slag chunks. We'll obviously need to melt them in some kind of smeltery, but we can deal with that when we get to it. Do I have a hunter? Now there's a question, Lava Cool. You weren't here for the uh, 20 minute character generation, so we'll have a quick... Ooh. It looks like you'll be here for a while. Singor is suggesting that you give your colony a name. What should it be called? Uh, not Nemecolin. Uh, that's definitely for sure. We're going to get rid of that. Goodbye. And then... Hmm... We have to think of a name for the colony. Well, Dwarf Fortress, we had Crypt Beards. So I'm thinking we might need to call this Space Beards. Or Rim Beards? No, no. Hmm. A New Hope? Although well, that would be episode four. And technically this is episode one. Or two if you count when I played it last time. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to call this... Oh god, we call it the Scound Realm. That's the seed I used to... Uh... Rimbeards? Let's do Rimbeards. Sort of. Rimbeards! There we go. The colony is now known as Rimbeards. Rimbase Alpha 1. So everyone's doing fine. Everything's chugging along tickety-boo. No issues so far. Planting going ahead. Okay, the turrets and the power stuff isn't getting built, so that's an issue. Who would be building that? Let's have a look. A sign? No, um, work. Here we go. So, construction, right? Single. What are you busy with? Scoundrel's got a passion for it as well, but uh, he is the gardener. Maybe we shouldn't enable his construction. Let him garden in peace. Excuse me. See, it's weird. He hasn't. Single's the one with the passion. Maybe between them. If we activate them both on both skills, it'll even out. Fingers crossed, though. I've got the chops. Single's got the passion. We've got the batteries now as well, that's good. A couple of batteries. Go, Scoundrel, go. Starvation issues incoming, apparently. Okay, okay. So in that case, somebody hunt the rat. The rat? The rabbit. We can have rabbit for din-dins, right? Is ammo an issue? That's a good question. Butcher's bench. We can kill one of the boars as well, hopefully. Who's got the rifle? Uh, single, what are you up to? You're the one with the rifle. Ooh, hold on there. Is ammo an issue? Because you seem to be pretty shit at shooting. Come on. Ah, there we go. Good shot. Is that one dead? It's not dead, it is injured got a female there. Let's get the male as well. Single, get closer. Ammo's unlimited. Good. Oh, Scoundrel's got it. Okay, so spoils in two days. And the rabbit. Okay, so let's get this butchery done. Uh, how do we use the butcher's table? Um, do we right click this? No. You need a bill for butchering and cooking. Set it to infinite. Butcher's table, bills. Aha, add bill. Butcher creature. Do I? Do forever. Okay, and add bill. Make kibble. What's kibble? I thought that was cat food. No, sod the kibble. 
cat can find its own damn food. Okay, sandbags going in, good, but really not the priority. Um, is it this particular job that needs to be... How do we prioritise? Ah, oh, I see. You can just do general categories of prioritisation. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. I'll come back to that on a later date because we've been playing for a while and we've had a catastrophic crash and it's one o'clock in the morning. So, ooh, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. Kibble is pet food. Okay, I get you. Getting some lovely butchered meat. This should probably need some bills, doesn't it? Add bill cook simple meal and we'll do it forever until we run out of food to cook with right is that how it works hair leather boar skin cool and some blood hopefully someone will think to clean that up can we do anything with that to stop it from spoiling or no is that not a thing man hunting animals generally won't attack doors or inactive turrets you can escape them by getting inside or behind a wall, but they'll wait for you. Okay. Mad animal. Let's find it. Where is it? Jump to location. A squirrel has gone mad. Oh no. Disaster. Screw you, squirrel. You're on the hunting list. Scoundrel, shoot that bastard. He needs treatment. Single. Deal with this squirrel menace. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, health. Let's check this out. Squirrel bite. Teeth. <laughs> and a squirrel scratch. Front right paw. Oh, that's, that's what it did it with, not where it is. Because I don't have a front right paw. What's that? Berries. Nice. Is the squirrel dead? Did we get it? Mr. Max. Bringing a knife to a squirrel fight, apparently. Come on. Squirrel is reserved by single. Well, you can't both attack it. Keep running, Mr. Max. Let's check out your health. God, covered in little squirrel bites and bleeding. Uh, treat them by sending them to a medical bed. Well, I should probably get one of them designated, shouldn't I? Um, structure? Ward, sanitary security furniture? Medical bed? No. Floors, ship temperature, joy, misc, power, production, zone area. Huh. Have I missed one? Furniture? Is it just a bed that's been set to uh, medical? Uh oh. But Mr. X has been mauled so badly by the squirrel. Sinkor! Rescue Mr. Mex. She's the closest thing we have to a trained medical professional. Good lord. Get your priorities straight. Drop the dead squirrel. Help her out. Uh, and we're going to change one of these beds to a medical bed if it's possible. Uh, hopefully. Mr. Mexi's bed. Set as medical. Sorry, Misto. Yeah, we're also going to... Oh, well, Mr. Mexi's going to be in it anyway, isn't she? Uh, so, let's go to furniture again. Structure. No, we need a bed. We need another bed for people to sleep in. And that is, of course, in furniture. Because I'm an idiot. I should have thought of that. Ah, it's the wrong way around. Cancel. Goodbye. Wooden bed. Rotate, rotate. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, and we can make that one. Ah, sorry. We'll put another bed in there as well. So we can have two medical beds. At the end. And then Scoundrel can get healed. Uh, how bad are Scoundrel's wounds? Let's have a look. 5.7... 4.6%? What is that? I don't know how that works. How do you... How do you work that? It had to be the medical professional who went down, didn't it? It couldn't be anybody else. That's true. 
Press R. Ah, oh, for rescue. Oh, no, 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 don't draft scoundrel into the military. That doesn't sound like a good idea. But Mr. Mix, do scoundrel? Can we tell you to get into a medical bed? The medical bed has not been created yet. Let's make your bed a medical bed. Scoundrel, in you get. There we go. Rest until healed. Is that all it needs? Will squirrel bites and bleeding be ameliorated by sleep? Fingers crossed. Okay, single, what are you playing at? Cutting a raspberry bush. Well, that's that's acceptable. I can live with that. Thank you. Keep going. Six hair meat bits. Six hair nuggets. Oh, Mr. Mix is no longer incapable of walking. That's handy. That's what we want. Ah, uh, okay. Let's have a look at Mr. Mix and see if we can see some history there. So, you've got three squirrel bites to your torso uh, and a scratch. And your left arm has bites and scratches. Your right arm, left leg, right leg, left fourth toe. Left fourth toe is already wounded. So, you, you're not doing too bad. Doing okay. You've got trivial blood loss. What about scoundrel? Scoundrel's all back to full health again. Let's not harvest his liver or euthanize him. That's probably a bit extreme. What time is it? Is it quite late? It seems quite dark out. Let's speed things up a shade and see what's going on. Hopefully Mr. Mix will heal up. Yay, single, go! Oh, cutting the pot lottery, not actually building the thing. Another colonist needs treatment. Get back in the bed, Mr. Mex. Come on. Jeez. Had to have food, apparently. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? For a walk. Is this... Is this going to help your healing? Is it? Uh-oh. Mr. Mex has gotten sick from infection. The infection is in her torso. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Mr. Mex gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Get in bed. Now. Go. You scumbag. None of this trotting around at night. And we'll check the work logs to see if anyone else can doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of solid poos. Um, probably not the most normal thing I've ever said. But hopefully Scoundrel will be enough of a doctor to do the heebies. Poor treatment. I saw that. I saw a little thing pop up that said poor treatment. But I suppose poor treatment is better than none. Well, uh, maybe not in the case of surgery. Who knows? I mean, Mr. Nex is only actually a vet. Not a proper doctor. Is Mr. Nex going to survive? Let's have a look. Right, all his wounds are bandaged. That's nice. Got a minor infection on the right leg and a minor infection on the torso. Fingers crossed, Scoundrel can uh, sort things out. He's off to get some food. You eating yourself? Let's speed things up a bit. This rain is torrential. The scoundrel's cooking up a nice meal. Good. Tend to Mr. Mex. Do some more heelses. My single trots around. Is Mr. Mex healing? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, they, oh look, those injuries are all disappearing. Nice. They're all infected, but they're going. Nice. Just the infections to deal with now. However, that is done. I'm not entirely sure. How do we get them to clean up? Uh, orders. Neon trap, plane, harvest, cut plants, haul, tame. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, I tried. A new colonist? This guy? Oh, hello. Hello, Hui. Let's take a look at you. Social skills. You've got pretty poor relationships with most of us. Had a nice chat with me, though. Gear. Steel knife. Synth thread to took. Whatever that is. A fine meal. Character. Okay, backstory. Vacgrown soldier and a deep space miner. Hui did the seti... <clears throat> did the sweaty, grimy work of pulling metal out of asteroids on a deep space rig. He used his hands on industrial skills daily. He used his hands on industrial skills daily and wasn't bad of a bar fight either. So, let's, uh, this guy gets to be Kiezu, doesn't he, of course? Kiezu. There you go, Kiezu, if you're still there, you've got a guy. That. Why is he amazing? Let's have a look. Uh, he's got passions for a lot of stuff, but he's good in melee, good in construction, good in mining. Nice. He does, however, look like Cartman. That is somewhat of a downside. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Okay, still infected? Oh. <laughs> Three major infections. This guy may not be new. It, the Kiezu may actually be Mr. Max's replacement. Scoundrel? Prioritise treating Mr. Max. Come on. Feeder. Feeder, come on. This is life and death shit. Mr. Max is reserved. Wooden bed, awful. Severe illness and poor mood. Oh dear, this is not looking good. But at least if they, if you do die, Mr. Max, just think we're not going to be left lonely. It's one out, one in, and although you're our only medical professional. And as such, it's pretty ironic that you're the one who's going to die. <laughs> oh, hang on. Developed immunity. Developed immunity. Developed immunity. Is that good? Poor mood. You've pulled through, Mr. Mex. Uh, no problem, Lava Cool. No problem. You'll be the next person who turns up or is born. Or, if you wish, a pet. You can also be a pet. Although, I, if that doesn't happen before the end of the stream, uh, you'll need to remind me. You have to turn up at the next stream. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. That's marketing in action. What's this? A drop pod? Holy heckins. A torturer? What? Guys. Is it got a steel shiv and... Oh, hello, what was that? Red flash. Disease, infection, yeah. Wanderer joins. Raid. Okay, he's a raid. Is it just the one of them? Just the one of them so far. Scoundrel. Oh, don't prioritise hauling the dead squirrel. No, kill this guy. Wreck this fool. Scoundrel's not drafted. Oh, come on. Draft. Who else has got a pistol? Single. You've got a gun. Drafted. Mr. Mex, could you put your pistol down, please? You don't have it. Oh, it was a knife, wasn't it? Kiezu, where's the knife? Oh, it's over by the dead squirrel. No, Kiezu's got the knife. Everybody in. Here we go. Oh, Kiezu, come on. For real? Fight back, damn it! Scoundrel, get your bloody ass up there and shoot this fool. This is all going all kinds of wrong. You cannot hit target. Jesus Christ. Ah, okay, go here, go here. Go. Scoundrel. Right click. Go here. Okay. Single, where are you? Get around there and save the noob. 
is moving. Come on, guys. Save Kiezu. Jesus, we're all going to die of infections. Hey, he killed him! Kiezu, let's check your wounds. Okay, he's got a bad back. Uh, trivial blood loss. Uh, it's been cut with a shiv <laughs> several times, but he's okay. Well done. Well done, Kiezu. Right, now, treat yourself to a nice rest in bed, if I can. Set this non medical. Has that already been. Kiezu, you need to relax. Okay, everybody de draft. Nobody needs to be in the military anymore. We're all good. Who's heading for the bed anyway? Right, let's check this boy's body out. Strip him. What have we got here? Steel shiv. Shoddy steel shiv, but we'll take it nonetheless. It's all good. Oh, and the speed goes back up again. Look at that. We're back in action. And Mr. Max is out of bed. Congratulations, Mr. Max. You've become immune to an alien infection. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just what we needed. Still got all your skills. Needs your joy is pretty low, but that's to be expected. You've had a severe illness. You're not well. How would you be happy? Draft you, then undraft you. Okay. There we go. Hey, we're getting all this stuff. Good stuff. And Scoundrel is helpfully tending to Kyozu, which is good. Although, let's stop that. Uh, and we'll go to work, and Scoundrel's no longer a doctor. We'll have Mr. Mex, who's actually not bad at it. And you can take over. Although, actually do. There we go. Now, watch Kiesu's wounds. Still not... Hey, you already had a stab scar. Kiesu, you've got a backstory. Tell us more. Who are you? He has got a backstory. He's a vat grown soldier in a Deep Space Niner. Of course he's got a stab wound. Hello. Who's he? Oh, it's his body that's been moved. Can we butcher it? Are we allowed to butcher corpses of living... Not living... Uh, crazy creatures? <laughs> Sentient creatures. That's the word I'm looking for. Not crazy creatures. He's going to spoil in a couple of days. probably take single off the mining duties. He needs to be constructing. Work. Single. Don't mine. Where's the mining? Mine, there we go. But do construct. You already constructed them. That's good. Mr. Max focus on doctoring and mm, hunting. Got a passion for hunting, eh? Interesting. Use your bed, though. Build another bed. Furniture, wooden bed. So let's just put a load of beds in. May as well. Got a few medical, got a few non medical, it's all good. We need someone to get tidy this up though. There's a lot of blood on the bedroom floor. Not normally a good sign. Not normally a good sign at all. Okay, butchering people butchering people makes them sad. Um I can't be bothered to figure it out. I'm just going to let him rot in the stockpile. It'll upset people, sure, but whatever. Or can I set someone to bury him? Mr. Mix, you're uh, a psychopath. You have no issues with burying. Cannot bury human corpse. No empty grave configured to install it. Okay, architect. Orders. Uh, no, zone area. Burial area. Production power. Furniture. Pause, ship, misc, grave. Grave. Time for burial. Uh, where should we put this guy? Should we bury people out back? We can go in this like ignominious little grave. Bury him in the mud. No, nope, it's not going to work. I don't know why we're burying him at all, really. We could just soil and green his ass. Maybe I should. Let's have a look. I'll check this one again. Uh, what does S mean? Suspended? Don't do that. Details. Human-like corpses? Uh, 
Yeah. And our colourless corpses? Ah, let's not go that far. And our stranger corpses? Sure. Human corpses? No problem. And animal corpses? Yeah, fuck it. Let's just, let's, let's just butcher people. People will go to the graves for joy. Oh, now that I know that, let's disallow humans. No, maybe we'll allow strangers. No, no, no. Let's let our colonists gloat over the grave. Uh, architects. Misc. Grave. We'll pop it. There. Well, I suppose somewhere nearby so they can see it a lot. That'll do. There we go. Let's get going. Kiezu needs to put some clothes on that plump little body. The Cartman and that uh, look-alikeiness is too much. Are we not building these because we don't have the materials? We've got no components and no steel. That's why we're not building. We need to scavenge. We need to get out of it and find some more materials. What have we got here? What's that? It's a wild boar. Absolutely no use whatsoever. Grizzly bear? Piss off. I'm not going that way. We're going this way. Any stuff? Things? Oh, look! Food! Gather that. Anything else around here? No. Not seeing a whole lot of items. That's for that. What's this? Steel. Okay, it'll do. May as well send people over to get it. Sandstone chunks. Not really fussed about those. Limestone, sandstone, limestone, sandstone, it's all the same to me. Steel, however, always welcome. An alpaca. I'm not going to go and collect stuff down there because it looks dangerous. Too many animals swarming around. If a squirrel can put Mr. Mix in a near death state, then let's not screw with antelope yet. He's growing well. Nice. <laughs> Died by a knife to the... Let's have a look at the grave. Here we go. Uh, contains Manuel the Torturer dead. Description. Place the dead in graves to give them a decent final resting place. Colonists will visit full graves to gain meditative joy. It's a shoddy grave. Unflam not flammable. Valued at about $1.56. 100 hit points and 11 work to make. Uh, doesn't tell us much about him though, does it? Should we open the grave? Let's have a look. Oh, no, no, cancel. Cancel! Messy. Where are you going, Mr. Mex? <laughs> what, what's this all about? Where'd the body go? Oh, it's still got him in there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Open it. We have to exhume him to see it. That's okay. I thought it had all gone wrong there, but apparently not. Hopefully Mr. Mex will come back and do the exhuming, being the psychopath that he is. What's this? Oh, it's a turret! There is a turret! It's right in the middle of the friggin' doodah! Oh! Oh, and they're building the solar... Oh, okay. Right, okay. Now's the time. Uh, architect. Power. Power conduit. Oh, yeah, come on, baby. Nice. So, in the morning, we'll get some power in and our turrets will power up. Splendiferous. You put him back. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. When Mr. Mix wakes up, we'll see how he died. Hey, look, the turrets are coming online. Come on, Mr. Max, get down to that grave. Show me the body again. Oh, 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 oh pause. There we go. So. Oh, can't click on him just yet. Why not? Huh. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give up on finding out how that guy died for now because I am absolutely dancing with need. I have a need for a wee wee. Let's assign this one to Sinkor. No, sorry, Scoundrel. So Sinkor's already got a bed. So all four of us have got a bed. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think this is a good enough time, as any, uh, to call a pause and save the game. And uh, well, yeah. Just, we're safe, right? We've got coverage from our turrets. Hookie's coming up here to trade. That's nice. He'll be there next time. Let's uh, save and quit to OS. There you go. Thank you for watching, YouTubers. It's been a, a pleasure to stream for you. And thank you for watching liveies as well. It's been a pleasure to stream for you. Although I didn't stream for the YouTube people, but recorded for them. And that's the outro mauled. Which is a shame. Uh, thank you for watching, YouTubers. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this little uh, video. And uh, if you didn't, uh, don't watch the next one then, because it'll annoy you just as much. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.